Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The SELECT statement, which is also often called the CASE statement, is another statement which evaluates multiple possible conditions and returns an output based on which condition evaluates to true. And this is often a simpler way of expressing a statement that could be expressed also as a more complex, nested, if-then-else statement. For example, in the last lesson, we looked at creating a if-then-else statement that evaluated whether the amount of a sale was at a gold, silver, or bronze level based on the amount of the sale. And if the sale was less than or equal to $500, it was bronze. If it was $501 up to $1,000, it was silver. And if it was over $1,000, it was called gold. A more succinct way of writing that might have been using the select case statement. To do that, you would just choose the formula field and then click New in the Field Explorer toolbar and give the formula a name. So we're going to call it sales status, which we called the last one. And then click Use Editor. Now the first line, we just simply type in select, followed by a space, and the evaluated expression, which in this case we would like to evaluate the value of the order amount for each detail record. Then after that, you put the word case for each subsequent line, the condition to evaluate, followed by the colon symbol, and then the expression to use if that condition evaluates to true. So for example, let's put in case. Also, if you want to use comparison operators for the, your condition, you need to specify the word is followed by a space, and then the desired comparison operator. So for example, we want to do, in this case, case is less than or equal to 500, which is our comparison. If that's true then, so we type the colon sign, what do we want it to display? In this case, a string bronze. Next line, well if the case is greater than 1000, in that case, it's gold. Now everything else, if it's not bronze or if it's not gold, falls between the two and it's going to just be silver. So here we put in default. And default is just the expression that you want as the default if the evaluated condition doesn't match any of the listed cases. Once again, check your syntax, save and close the formula, and note that when we add it into our report, it'll function the same way the last, more complex, if-then-else statement did. So here, when we double-click on the total for a customer, we can see the details for the orders and the amount then determines the sales status. So if it was less than 500, they get bronze. If it was over 1,000, it's gold. Otherwise, it's just silver. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.